Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Road to Glory, the series where we go from nothing to hopefully something. Still not sure what that something's going to be, but hopefully the foot draft does give us something good and uh, turns it into something. Like, this is how I would play Ultimate Team away from being a YouTuber. This was how I used to play it with the odd dabble of FIFA points, but not as much as I would do now. And uh, the only reason I do do that is because I want to get the bigger and better things to showcase the players to you, which you guys seem to love. So I've got two ways of doing it. You guys seem to love the cheat world to glory, which is this. No thief points involved in it. Just draft, just playing, and just um, trying to trade anyway. So if you guys do enjoy this series, like it very much. Appreciate it. trying to hit over 5,000 likes. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below, where you can hopefully take advantage of the uh, increased chance team of the week, which is out until Wednesday. I think there's like two days left of it. Um, so with this uh, pack you are seeing there, guys, didn't buy the pack it was given to me from uh, EA for the pre-order bonus and that's what we managed to take advantage of so we do get that one pack a week and unfortunately as you can see there we get Strootman in it not a good player um, didn't even sell either and none of the players we did actually get did actually sell um, so basically a full discard pack we kept the consumables and uh, we actually changed the kit as well so I thought I'd take advantage of that now with this series guys uh, in the last episode, we did build a fitness team, which was the Brazil fitness team. If you want to go and see me build it live, um, I'm unsure. I just built it by looking at it. We've not played with it, and this will be the first time you do get to see me play with it. So if you guys do enjoy the World of Glory series, um, let me know how I can make it better for you guys. And that means no... FIFA points, no buying of coins, which I don't do anyway, and uh, also just playing games, like how can I make it better for you, like uh, the, currently I uh, show you all the progression, all the progression with trading, all the progression with the team and fitness and stuff like that, um, so currently the League 1 cheap team is undergoing a, a, a recharge because we are using the Brazil fitness team and what a surprise guys, our first time we come against a sweaty, um, actually a very, very nice looking Brazil team and uh, this was my first game back after my trip to the Maldives uh, with WS SVG commentating out in the Maldives and uh, no FIFA 16 was played so unfortunately come back straight into it but I love going on this account playing it and I wanted to get some footage and unfortunately we go 1-0 down instantly now he made a mistake Pato linking up with Kaká who is a very very good player linking up with Raphael but this game was littered with lag a little bit um, but a nice 1-2 and Raphael does manage to smack it into the back of there and make it 1-1 in the uh, just after half time actually so a nice little counter attack there but then my opponent got very very good for some reason just massive gaps appearing in the defence. I'm unsure whether this formation does actually suit me and uh, he does get very lucky there where I couldn't actually change to uh, clear the ball and uh, he overpowers the header into the back of the net, makes it 2-1 in the 50th minute. Instant reply, fucking annoyed but nothing I could do about it. He then breaks on through again, Tyson linking up through and he's able to square it across the edge of the uh, 6 yard area and taps it into an empty net. Nothing I could do about that one either, maybe defend a little bit better but that was basically looking like game over. Now we did take advantage of... Um, well, take advantage of a bit of a messy situation in the area. Kakao dribbling on the outside. He's very lucky to actually pass it in to uh, Fernando, who pings it into the bottom corner and makes it 3-2 in the 83rd minute. But it was too little too late, guys. This is the first, second loss, actually, um, that we've actually received in the uh, whole of the game. And uh, we are stuck with, uh, well, as you can see there, statistics-wise, it actually looked like we did all right, but we just couldn't put our chances. So the first loss in a while, so I think it's 17-2 and two now. We then move up against another per another person with Hernan, um, Jackson Martinez, Dembele, Vertonghen, Rose, uh, Santana, and also Farman on loan. A nice looking team, but I've heard a lot of complaints complaints about Jackson Martinez. So I'm also going to talk to you guys about something else, um, which is bothering me. Now, if you guys were in yesterday's stream where I was hopefully trying to get a video for you, wasn't able to do it. Um, I'll actually talk to talk to you about this after this game. Um, so this game we go one 0 up in the seventh minute, and then he pressed start, and then actually. Uh, quit the game out in the 13th minute giving me a win which was a surprise but it was the second game of the day and uh, we take away with a free point so I'm not going to complain about that one but what I'm saying guys is uh, on stream I am t interacting with people very distracted now this isn't an excuse but very distracted to talking to people and uh, not playing in my normal position now me making a video now you'll see me in a position which I'm not usually playing FIFA in my position is honestly my face is here glued up against the TV, silence, music in one ear, and uh, trying to play my best. And that's when I actually do play my best. But imagine me streaming that. Now, I want to know 
And this goes on to a question which I was going to ask about you. Uh, was how do you play FIFA? Do you sit a mile back from the TV screen? Currently, do you play the game tight up against the screen? Because, honestly, I think the more you do concentrate on the game, the more chance you have of winning. You can see better passes and stuff. And also, what size TV you do play on. I'm a player on 24. I see that as big enough for me, even though, obviously, I could get bigger. But this screen is big enough for me, and that's why I do play on it. So, the next game, guys, we move on. The League One team is back. Um, ben Yedda, Tolisso, etc., Taliso actually getting on score sheet with a very scrappy goal there, but does make it 1-0 in the 13th minute. Now, Valbuena, guys. I love Valbuena. He's a little whippersnapper outside the area, but inside the area actually is all right. And a nice cross in there, and he actually gets his head in it. And he's one of the, he is probably the shortest player I've got in the team. Actually, by the looks of it, Ben Yedda's smaller, but you don't know with that EA animation, he might have lifted him up. Um, and this guy was just easy to pump on through. Valbuena picking up the ball there, linking up again. We were slipping the ball in through to Ben Yedda, and Ben Yedda getting some score sheet. A very, very good non-rare player. If you can take advantage, guys, got a few spare coins now. I know a lot of you guys will have played a lot of FIFA. Go and definitely get a Valbuena and a Ben Yedda. He makes it 3-1 in the 69th minute, and that was how the third and final game did finish, guys. One shot, one on, uh, one shot on target, one goal for uh, Yellow FC, and now walked away with 15 shots, 11 on target, and only three goals, which is absolutely ridiculous. But he had a good goalkeeper. So as you can see there, the, the standings in the current division, which is Division 8, I think, um, seven games left, six points out of a possible nine which I'm annoyed about that loss but hopefully when I do bring it back guys we can uh, hopefully get on a, a bit of a run might actually run the Brazil team again next uh, episode and recharge the League One team so until next time guys see you all later have a very very nice rest of your day